Okay, on to the last page, page five. All right, um, here we're just doing substitution, and for this question here, I screwed it up, um, so ignore it, because there is no Y. So on the things here, I tell you what the letters are, um, M and K, and it says Y there, and there's no Y, so ignore it. But this one we can do. We're telling you that M is three and K is negative two. So in other words, we know that M is three and the K we know is negative two. And you just plug it in. And we call that substitution. And then once you plug it in, you can evaluate it. So we wanna know what this equals. And we can cancel that because it's a negative sign. You just get three minus two and you get one. And that's your answer. So that's pretty easy. Um, roots. Okay, with roots, um, we're going to stop. Section 14 you don't have to do, so we're just going to do section 13 quickly here. Um, most of the roots will work uh, pretty easily, but some of them don't work. In other words, you can't just do the root. You have to turn it into something first before you can do it. And remember, we're not using calculators on any of them, so all of them will work, with the exception of some that have negatives inside. So let's work through this and try to figure out what to do. First of all, let's look at all of them and see if there's any that we can't do. And the way we look at that is anything that has a negative inside of the root is not possible. And again, I'm just going to say this here. The reason that this is not possible, because it does have a negative inside the root, is if I just wrote negative 4, that's not right. Because negative 4 times negative 4 will give you positive 16. <coughs> And that's not the question is, it's negative 16. So you can never get the negative inside of the root. So this you would write can't do. So can't do. This one you can do. So don't get fooled and say, oh, I can't do this because I see a negative. Always look inside. There is no negative inside. So this just stays the same. And the square root of 9 is just 3. So this you can do. Okay, those ones are pretty straightforward because they're just numbers that will work or won't work with the negative inside. But for A, D, and E, they're a little harder. And what you have to do is try to turn them into numbers that you can solve. None of these will have negatives, so you know that you have to solve them. So you have to figure out a way to do that. So my little way was to think about the roots as jail. You've got square root of 18. The 18 can't leave jail because 18 can't be square rooted unless you use a calculator. So what we're going to do is turn 18 into two numbers that at least one of them can be square rooted and leave the jail. So if I chose 6 and 3, 6 and 3 don't work. You can't square root either of them, so that, that's kind of pointless. But if I chose 9 and 2, that works quite well. 2 you can't square root, but 9 you can. So the way to think about it is this. <clears throat> if you can square root, you leave a new man. The square root of 9 is 3, and the other guy, the 2, is left in jail. So the 3 is left, or the 9 is left, and it becomes a new man as 3 outside, but the 2 is stuck. He can't leave the jail. So you, your answer is 3 root 2. And your goal is to think about this is to try to get as many people out of the jail. So here, we only have 2 left in the jail. You did your job. Um, for D, um, this is a little different. The 3 is a dude, and he's visiting the jail, and the 8 is in jail. So let's break 8 into something that works, because you can't take the square root of 8. It's not 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. So if I chose 4 times 2, 2 doesn't work, but 4 does. The 4 leaves a new man. When he leaves jail, he now becomes the square root. He's a 2. And he meets his buddy outside, which is the 3. But this guy is still stuck in jail. So if I had this here, I have my guy in jail. And now I have a 3 and the 2 on the outside. And the 3 and the 2, because they're beside each other, are multiplying. So you get 6 root 2. And here you did your job, because now you only have 2 people in jail. And here you started with 8. Okay, on to the very last one. When you see ones that have letters and numbers, deal with the numbers first. The square root of 4 can leave. 
4 can leave, it becomes a new man, becomes 2. But the m squared, the way to think about it is to write it out. So if you can't see it, just do this. So you think, what would the exponents on the m have to be for this to be true? Well, it would have to be 1, because m1 plus m1 would be m2, because we always add the exponents when we multiply. So this would be m1, or just m. So you could write it like that. So that's all you needed to know for the test. I, we didn't have enough time to go into adding subtraction roots and multiplying. And to be quite honest, we're not going to really use those much in the course. So we're going to stop at section 13, so you don't have to do section 14. So I hope these videos help. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me.